This is Patrick. He's also known as Curly Locks the Voice Box, the mastermind and creative genius behind the duo Twin of Twins. He tells the truth for a living. Some find it funny, some offensive, and some never find it at all. Hmm, I wonder. How did he get to this point where he could free himself from the shackles of the opinions of others and find the courage to offend them and master the true art of not giving a fuck? You can too, if you want. With this podcast, The Rebellious Truth, Patrick offers solutions to problems we thought were solutions and highlights the errors in so-called solutions we don't know caused the problems in the first place. Who knows? He might just fuck around and say something offensive, something hilarious. Some may even find it repulsive. But as usual, he doesn't give a fuck. The following feature is rated SM for spiritual maturity and is not intended for the immature who wishes to remain as such. The views expressed are not necessarily those of our sponsors as they sometimes could care less about what the host is saying but is more concerned about having their product on a popular show. Warning, small minds, listen at your own risk as this content is extremely overwhelming and may do further damage to those minds closed off to objective reality. Approach with an open mind as the heavy nature of the content will lick your chip. Your chip. Hey! In the meantime, 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 in between time, time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time. Time. Yes, Curly Locks Device Box. Yes, me there again, once more. For another episode of In the Meantime, I <laughs> tell you, Rasta. Yes, episode 14. Yes, Parenting, part 5. All right, yes. Something great lined up as usual, my brother. <laughs> yes, so, big up everyone who support the show, Rasta. They are them are special people. Indeed. Who is part of something great. Yes, All right, they so. are. Support the channel, all I links them there in the description, yes, like, share, subscribe, yeah man, subscribe if you're new to the thing, yeah man. And remember, look out for Planet Hurt, yes, the book, we're going to make every other book make sense, yes, coming up in October, yeah. Watch out now, this section of the program is brought to you by Vicebox Studios, the voice of a nation, and Madvert Multimedia, if it's not Madvert, it's not an advert. Also brought to you by Rebel 13 Collections. It's at Rebel 13 Collections for the finest in custom design clothing and everything printing except fingerprinting. <laughs> yes. Also brought to you by Bunks About Party Rentals. Yes, Rasta, me I tell you. It's at Bunks About. Yes, that is at B U N X A B O U T. Ultimate Kids Party Rentals, yeah man. So call 876-404-1714. The friendly and courteous staff is ready to serve you, yeah man. Customize a memory for your child that they will never forget. My brother. Yeah. On the last episode, um, yeah. you spoke about a lot of things regarding um, what the kind of dysfunction yeah. and the immaturity that creates the dysfunction that um, often puts people who are supposed to work uh, with each other against each other. And um, I must admit that I have been going through a lot of the same things that we talk about on this program oh, yeah, on a daily basis with the wife. Manifest the same way like we are talking Yes, my brother, ex exactly. And um, to be quite honest, I am confused about it, my brother, because my, my wife did not come up in, 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 in yeah. the average dysfunctional um, home, my brother. Why you say that? Because her father yeah. was a pastor and her mother was a Sunday school teacher and they both gave to, to, to my wife in, 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 in such ways and she was disciplined and well-rounded and, and grounded. So I don't understand her acting up these days. I don't get it. Well, my brother, watch I know. I it might shock you, you know, but 
I believe say every situation is a dysfunctional situation. That's nonsense. No, man. Man. Nonsense. Hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. Nonsense. Listen, you know. You have to listen. So, me I say, I believe, say, the average human's belief system uh-huh. is not functional. How is that? How you get to? What is Not functional mm. in the way it was intended How is to that? function. How is Because that? we socialize, the way we socialize, back way up in a small corner of our consciousness, where we have a one-dimensional kind of belief system, where we supposed to be perfect and therefore everything supposed to be just perfectly black and white, either the man are the woman, the puss are the dog, labor right are PNP, bunty are beanie. One track minded, yes, exactly. So we end up a suppress with objective nature. And the word of the day is suppress, it means say, to prevent the development of an action or expression. In other words, it means for restrain or hold back. Yeah, so we suppress the objective nature, which is the part of we, we, we consciousness, where we, yeah, where we socialize to believe is not supposed to be there. So the average person now go through life with a thing when you have cognitive dissonance. This now where you experience this lifelong self-conflict, where you might think in a yourself, consciously, say, you are the best person, with the best intentions out of everybody upon, upon the whole earth. But your thoughts are often very inconsistent with really? these good intentions. And you have to know now, say, What's naturally, mm-hmm. if the belief system mm-hmm. is one where a malfunction and a function in its original or intended state, then now you have to know, say, we natural approach to every situation I go create this function. Because we don't know, say, we are malfunction. And, and we are going to say, Pastor, say, boy, all right now, you know, understand because she grew good on them things there. I don't. What you have to know, say, mm-hmm. is that the literal home is just a room in a the broader societal home. Or we should have said corporate plantation run by parental government who manipulate your parents and my parents one dimensional belief system through the media you think so my brother yeah man I mean, can't say this enough Rasta because the media now the, the amount of the amount of time them repeat certain things you understand in our system it make we attracted to our own downfall and every choice we are going to make will lead to that downfall let them have a business right at the root of it we we'll benefit from the fuck up choice them we are going to make so no matter the home as long as the belief Belief system of that type of malfunction they to it then you go as a prepare children to become slave upon the corporate plantation if we don't get rid of this idea so we're supposed to good and perfect and that happiness is when you get to that right place where nothing else will ever go wrong We'll continue to suffer. I wonder why. Last and bitter. Yeah, man. If them do sit through the spiritual manipulation of the system and sacrifice them own self-interest by putting them ego aside and know say something must wrong with the values with them have and them can't pass them fuck with them, get the pit in them and go inside of themselves because of inside it there in a rasta. The whole of the answers inside, not outside. We have to go inside, go confront the things where we fear and at this so the answer them there. So as long as we do have that courage for grow wise instead of grow tall, then we have to always just raise children who cannot function in any kind of relationship. Work or otherwise. Because as long as them have that flawed belief system, we are malfunctioned, then it will always lead to dysfunction. But, my brother. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, what? The, the women, though, it, it seemed... What about them? Like... They're out of control and, 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 and something is definitely wrong, watch my out. brother. But watch out, man. I know I'm right. Watch out, say, I know you I'm not look wrong about this like thing, that. my brother. No, Bridging. I can't. No, man. I'm not Walk taking you. any bun, my brother. I can't get Bridging. Watch out, women have gone crazy. It's not a woman stay that way. They are man stay that way. The problem we are fierce, Bridging. Let me say, look past the, 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 the distraction of man, this and man, that. And you will see, say, that spiritual problem, Bridging. Is, is that what you think? Yeah, brother? man. I what you mean about that. Is that so? Watch out, me say, Bridging. Mm-hmm. How much time me have to go tell you the same thing? What's that? Man and woman purple. Post with doing the same things differently and think a different thing them are do. 
I don't say how. <laughs> Bridget, me I tell I you, don't. Say, you know, say you're slow, Bridget. I don't. I mean, nah, tell you that. You know, a man I run against you see and bolt, so you have to forgive him type of way, no, Bridget. Me I tell you that. You know, a man who not even left the starting block type of way, Bridget. Hey, what am I to you, man? I could care less. Bridget, what's the women have say? changed, my brother. They have no, to No, I don't. Changed. I don't. Bridget, I know. I say the woman them not changed because of the paradigm and the what, narrative. What, what you say? And the story where they on TV and, so, and, 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 and things where I change them action. So, what are you saying? Towards the relationship. But nah, say that nah go on, you know. And nah, say love and flip flop. No turn them in a idiot, you know. So well, at least most of them. But the man, them a whole lot of man, I do the same things where the woman them when they complain about. You, you think them so? do this? Oh yes, you, of course. Them do the same that. thing what, in a different what, what way. What you mean? Oh, you mean what I mean? I, I want to say. know. Because what, what? a man, a man, we have him woman and daddy a complain and say, I want to you, my girl, I want to pussy you and bring to the game and them thing and where, where you have. I want to where you feel like, oh, that the pussy the hole and rev out and can't even give it. And I go like you want to come run me head. And him stay the said fucking way when it come to work. Because when him, when him go work at the time, him go to go sleep. And just dead it, and he just feel say, yeah, he might do all kinds. He, he, he might be the greatest thing. He might be the greatest team player because I'm dead it. And he want the same credit for the, as, as, as the people them where, where, where I lift up something. And when employer the month I give out, I him that I shoot up and I cuss the boss. I say I him for run the blood clot company without qualification. You think so, my yeah, brother? man, you must see you credit be... where him not earn just like the woman where my cuss. But why though? My because brother. we are egocentric creatures who think only of ourselves subconsciously. Selfish. Yeah, man. Is a thing I call me ness life. Everyone of me I look upon and everything is in service to my interests. You understand? Everybody feel like say them are the best one. Everybody if you serve them and them don't know them stay so. But the, the, the men are saying it's the women and the women are saying it's the it's the men. Who is it, my brother? It's it, a human being. A, a humans, a humans, bridge are them are the problem. Because what? Uh, if I if 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 the man are the problem and the woman right, then oh come when a woman fuck a woman a problem. Them same fucking way. Then we should have all right when them are rub crutches. Then when two women come together, and we should have perfect harmony and vice versa. Them have more problem than mathematics, me I tell you that because what? Nobody no have woman problem like a woman where they can woman and think at the end of problem. And vice versa too. So you stay there. It's a spiritual communication problem we have. And nobody no see it. In the meantime. All right. Yes. The letter of the day coming to in the meantime radio show at gmail.com. Right now it's coming from um, Samuel Whitaker. Yeah, Samuel I say I know. Curly locks the voice box. This program in the meantime changed my life and how I view things. Before you I never saw certain things, certain way, in depth. My condolences for the loss of your son, Zion. I feel like I know him personally because of you and the wonderful work that he is inspiring you to do. I hope you don't mind, but I downloaded a pic of him from your Instagram and framed it and put it in my living room as I owe him a debt of gratitude for inspiring his father to do this work. That has so profoundly changed my life. Before in the meantime, I used to be just the average, confused, angry young man with lots of talent but without direction. The problem was that I tried so hard to please my family who seemed to never be pleased no matter what I did or said or how I did or said it. Every time that I said I was going to do something, they had something negative to say and when I proved them wrong, things got worse. It was when I saw your interview on On Stage with Winford Williams, where you were speaking about the courage to offend and that it was the opinions of those we love that was keeping us in emotional slavery that I got the courage to do what I knew was right despite my family's opinions. Because of your guidance, I am now the proud owner of a successful business. Since my success, I noticed that my family is going above and beyond to do Everything in their power, it seemed to bring me back to square one. My wake-up call to this reality came one day when I was searching for a screwdriver and went through a pile of rubble that I don't usually go through in a small corner of my garage. I found a candle 
that seem to be fully burnt on top of a parchment paper with pure, what is that? Weird languages, yeah, weird language. My sister was the only one who was living with me and my girlfriend at my house at that time. Also, my girlfriend's mother used to be crazy about me. However, ever since I got into some legal troubles where I could lose my business, I noticed that she has pulled away and that her daughter has gotten cold towards me and stopped communicating. I used to follow. My girlfriend and my sister were on the same netball team to netball practice when I had the time. One day while at netball practice, this stranger came up to me and told me that he knew I was a good youth and that the things that my woman was doing was not right. And when I inquired, he further told me that he was a police officer and that my sister set up my woman and his colleague who sent him our pick up my girlfriend and my sister whenever I was not there. This is how I get to know that stranger is way better than family sometime because I still can't believe that my own family would do this to me. Sign broken hearted Samuel Whitaker. Good Lord, my brother, you see wow. what I'm saying? Why, what that? But, but, my brother, we you are... see, there is something in the atmosphere, something is wrong, my we brother. Are, we are the women have gone crazy. Me tell you, see, the people problem, Bridget, is not a man problem or a woman problem, it's a people problem. I don't know how else you say that to you. Anyway, Samuel, all right. Yeah, man, you can frame Zion picture, man. That, yes, man, of course. And with the family thing concerned now, my Bridget, man, you, you, you try not to be too surprised because, in a 2007, me no bridging. Let me tell you something. In a 2007, when Zion drop out and the rest of the picture coming at the picture for me, when me start to say the whole entire picture and not just one little piece and start to say, you have to look past these labels and start to see people, start to see the human. Bridging, when we start to see these things in an objective reality and I express them, man, all these family bakes, man, I say, I fuck with that. But my whole, my own Rasta and just develop the courage for offend them and not even business with them opinion and them thing because them don't really have a steady opinion like me always say. Because you will say something to them now, you know, and them fight against it and with all of them art and them might and this thing I will suggest to them come work out in a long run and them just fit in and not even want to remember that. And the reason why you want to remind them of that is not because you want to bring them down like how them feel, you know. It's because you want them to accept their mistakes so them can learn from it and grow. But them think otherwise because them egocentric and childish. And I want to make you know, say, them don't yet you know, Samuel. The problem is that you're a constant reminder of something that they are supposed to be. Your, your life is a judge of feed them one. So them use them so-called opinions and offense about everything to keep you right with them there. A drown with them in a misery. Them not yet your brethren. Them love you. That's why you see them ball at your funeral. The love is real, me I tell you. But the fear and insecurity will govern every aspect of them life is even realer. So forgive them, my brethren. I them can't find a way out of them egocentric mind. So how come you're saying... What? Um, what are hold on, hold on. That um, these people have no opinion. I don't necessarily agree or, or necessarily understand that. All right. My brother. You have no say. Because... When you're spiritually mature, three quarter who you encounter family and otherwise are gonna be spiritually immature. Adult, children. I want me always say everything at the same point, every level. So whether it's an infant child or an adult child, the reality of how you deal with them in this is the same. Well on, well on, Bridget. The reality of how you deal with them is the same. Because one now, you go where are you? You go make a two-year-old tell you what to do, and you is an adult, spiritual or otherwise. You can't use adult logic for coerce complicity. In other words, get a two-year-old to do what you want them to do, because them not the way you they maturity-wise. So you have to do what you know says good for them, even against them will. Because when them small, sometimes them not even want them medicine and are dead. Them are go dead if them not take it. So you, the adult, have to make sure that them get that. So stop thinking about where picnic think about you upon any level at all. You have to just raise them right. Cause they don't know what they want and you as the mature one know. And as it relates to what you say about stranger better than family, I don't buy into that. You don't? 
No, I'm no, man. How what so? you say, man? When we reach the my consciousness now, we see past certain things bridging. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm going to tell you what I say. Mm-hmm. No one is intrinsically better or worse than anybody else. They're not. Everything is a matter of choice. The stranger will always appear to be better than your family. Because them don't know you. The dysfunction we often encounter with family is simply because them so familiar with every aspect of your life, especially close family. And I guess that's why the word family, you know, the word familiar. Because those closest to you, you know, them get to see your struggle. Them often get to see themselves doubt you and also get to see you prove them wrong. On various occasions, when it comes to the stranger now, the stranger don't know your story and therefore is not intimidated by it. Yeah, man, that's why when you move out to your place and buy a big house somewhere else and when you look and see the neighbors come over with dog in hand and half of your pudding, I don't care them like you, I don't care them don't know you. Yeah, man, of course, and that's why you see some man when them successful and make it out of the ghetto. At the place where them come from, first bus shot off of them and run them down, breathless to kill them, you know. And them story that I run them down, you know. And sometimes them end up dead too. In the meantime. All right. All right, why not news I know? All right. Yes, Triple X, yeah, is now associated with two word shoplifting. And why them call us up here shoplifting? Because, uh, well, nobody not lift up the shop. You understand? Should I call it stock lifting because they might lift up the stock? I want to name these things. All right, all right. It's apparent that couple, couple time ago, yeah, well known social media sensation and outspoken critic of others. Triple X apparently was caught by Walmart security pilfering $256 worth of goods from a Walmart store in Florida. And if that information is wrong, there's a foreign that can't be wrong. All right. Triple X was released on $25 bill. People who have been hurt by Triple X in the past have been coming out on social media and claiming karma, saying that it is Triple X's fucked up ways that is coming back to haunt him. All right, this thing here, Pastor, yeah, man, this thing here is the perfect example of what I have been saying for years, which is nobody no know what they would not do until they have to do it. You understand? I said the same thing regarding the Bujo scenario. And even more recently, on the last episode, we believe in unconditional when there are no conditions. <laughs> yeah, man, when everything good and pot done cook and stove turn off, we can't say anything when money in the bank and things sweet. <laughs> yeah, man, Kayewa. Everyone thinks that them perfect and everything fucked up about the world is somebody else. Because nobody not accept the darkest part of them nature, you know. The darker part of them nature is suppressed. See the word there again, yeah. So them don't know how to harness the potential of them dark side. Because them socialize for seat as something bad. Something that is not supposed to be there. But my brother, yeah. to, to, to play devil's advocate and, yeah. and to be fair in all honesty, yeah. we, I think people, most people believe that nobody is perfect, Wait. my brother, because I've heard this no. all my, my, my entire life, my no. brother. No, no, Bridging. You know, so you're not listening, Bridging. You're not listening last program or the one before that, you know. I always say, all right, since everybody believes and nobody is perfect, then, well, on a man, well, on a virgin, if we believe that, then with a budget for fault, both the faults in ourselves and the faults in our people, why is it that when we see fault, it's controversial? Why people, consciously or subconsciously, turn off a people, or even left people whenever there is a fault? Let's pretend I don't know. You tell me. Because we consciously think we believe so we're imperfect, but subconsciously believe with all our hearts so we're perfect. So when time we want to fuck, we know we just, as we may say long time, and I go say it again, we relabel things for suit when we, when we want to do the same thing where we condemn people for. So in a triple X case, I know when a man I go do that same thing they were triple X do, him call it, Go get mine, I'm gonna go get mine. But a next man, a thief, if you do the same fucking thing in a rasta, it's not different. But I mean, I tell you, I now can do one with triple X do, you know. But me, I said the thing will suck the life out of everybody's life. It's this need for pretend, this constant pretentiousness, this performing through life for act like we're perfect. Alright, you know what she said, I'm a born and grow and uh, big up Kingston 13 every day. Maxfield and the whole place, right? Alright. 
one time, them catch a youth, a thief, somewhere over manly backfield, there's over manly school backfield, and when the last crowd, man, me I tell you, I find creative ways to kill him, man. I drop black and one bag of thing in his head. And I was shocked and surprised. For this is the biggest thief in the fucking area. I, I, yeah, man, I give the man the most lick. And when the man all, when the man dead and everything, I know and everything water down. And me see everybody stand up their reason with this well-known blood clad thief about the wrongness of thief in Rasta. And the man, the elder, when me see a reason with this thief, is an elder where the thief broke female house just one week before, you know. And him a reason with a man where him know, say, have him TV and the whole him furniture them. Where this thief ya broke him house and take away and have in a female house now. Uh, funny enough, you know, the argument gravitating to show and who watched that show, yeah. I mean, no, said that show, they were the thief at the about a film flat screen. He watched that show, the pan rat. Well, I mean, no, I mean, no, no. So, I mean, that's say a triple X, you know, as long as him take responsibility, personal responsibility for him action and the item hold him accountable for those actions because many people you know come take responsibility for action and they don't really have to do that, you know. They just have to do that for no stop talk. But then, a next side that it exists where we, the people, you know, some Time we too judgmental and critical overly, you understand? And we decide, say, this wrongdoing or this thing where this person do is who them solely is. This, this alone is who they are, they are thief, and that's it. And we don't allow them to grow, for change. Because once them do something, that is who we consider that they are in their entirety. And this is what make every sentence a life sentence. And make people can't change because our outlook on them keep them in a the position where we see them because we, we, we refuse to see them a different way. And furthermore, I never soon have done a politician career for thiefing yet. So make us see now. In the meantime... Yes, talking about politician. All right, them on politics time, GLP with yes, by a landslide. There seem to be a, All right. a, a, a yeah. record low turnout at the polls, though, yeah. my brother. Yeah. I, I, would you say that the people of Jamaica are wising up, my brother? Uh, well, and would you say the low turnout um, indicates some wisdom on the part of the people, my wouldn't, brother? I wouldn't say that, my Bridget, because what I know. That only indicates. Say them see part of the problem, which are that them are do for years, whether them vote or not. Why you say that? Because the biggest part of the problem is the people themselves mm -hmm. being ignorant, or I should I say unaware of their own contribution to the problem them with them are complaining about every day for years. How so, my brother? Because our, our fault if we as a people learn, if you have interest in our own interest, then all of the shoulda, coulda, woulda, long trio attack show, and one bag of thing about who should step down and who old and who young and who should I do this and who never do that wouldn't even be necessary but but don't you think my brother yeah. that that um what that? had uh, the PMP campaigned in a similar fashion yeah. especially where social media is concerned and be, uh, be more youthful then yeah, like yeah. like like Andrew and and, and you well, know he, you he, he, hold on yeah. don't you think if they adopted a, a similar approach to bro God and the clerks and the you know, by connecting to the regular man on the streets that they would have stood a chance, my brother. So, let me get something straight now. What, what I say is that them shouldn't try to be the better entertainer. That's not what I said, Yeah, that you say I exactly. I didn't say, say, I didn't say that. Because we prefer them lie to we and then we call them liar. Because we don't want to do the work we it's going to take to make sure so them stay straight. But we have time and energy for watch who are we who are, who are fuck who are, and watch other people sex tape and who, are, who mash up in a life. And them things they get to interest. You think so? Yeah, man, I tell you all right now, if you take a most of them phone mm -hmm. and go in a Google search history, you know where you're going to find? What's that? It's coffee a lesbian. You're not find something like, as a Jamaican, what are my constitutional rights? We put all our interests in a fuckery and a cuss artist and a cuss leaders. While we just a hope. So them leader ya deal with the good. Hope so them leader ya keep them promise. Hey, remember tell you this coming like, Pastor. This coming like when most people get this update or something in a them phone, you see the big hole. I agree. And them just click I agree and them don't read fucking Rasta. Them just click I agree and I hope say 
Two big thick man now come at them yard and say, right now, you owe $20,000 a month. You have three days to leave that house. Yeah. And when you click, I agree, I agree. So, me, oh, fuck your wife. Or I'm going kill your pitney then. A sad reality. Yeah, man. It's a I agree life. We are live with no business with the details of nothing. Me, I tell you. And the saddest part of the sadness is that it's not every time these leaders, you know, on either side, I take off the either, you know. It is just that most of we don't understand nothing at all where these leaders are deal with. You understand? And then we have very strong opinions upon things that we don't understand simply because we're not mature enough to admit that so we don't understand it in order to learn and grow. And that are the most ignorant thing a human being can do. And Jamaican people are do it every day. But I want to tell you, say, you know, realistically, if, if, if you're really interested in anything at all, you know, I'm going to tell you for the hundred million time. If you're really interested, then nothing no really hard, you know, because when you're interested in anything or anyone then, anything you're interested in, the circuitry turn on in your brain will make you endure. It gives the enthusiasm to endure any hardship, any kind of hardship will come with what you're interested in. Hey, Virgin, watch out. You ever really and truly tired yet? And when you look and see a documentary or something where you're interested in, come on. And you say, yo, I'm going to look upon this. All uh, true, uh, you're not even drop asleep to how interested you is. But anytime you're interested in something, you're easily bored. You just want a joke. So you can't forget, say, your life a joke. Yeah man, too long, them take, them take politics thing in a Jamaica for stage show. And a them pay go in, go encourage it. I mean, no, most of them don't want to hear this, you know. But let me tell you this, me, I tell you what you need for hear, not what you want for hear. This is not a gossip thing, you know, this is an objective blood clot reality. So you know what, if you wanna like this, you know, can just go on over the popular gossip column them. Go find out who a fuck who and who mash up in a life. Can I eat this? In the meantime. Alright, yes, the song you know when I go play, yeah man, alright. It is coming from Sagittarius, it is entitled She Fed Up, yeah man, Sagittarius is the brother of Magic Flute. Yes, we do the dancing with the devil song. Yes, may I tell you, it's a musical family from out of Clarendon. Yes, so big up Clarendon, Panawania, here goes. She fed up, tip God. Fed up, she fed up. Sagittar Good night, she na answer, she moody She no cook, she na watch no movie She no wash, she no clean from morning She no hug me, no call me, no darling Yeah, did I cry on your eyes, look teary She say, no touch me, don't come near me Some girl, will you make her compare me Attack me, attack me, you hear me Me fed up, me fed up, me fed up Yeah, man, if you know, say this is Leela Ike here, right? And now you're listening to In the Meantime with Curly Locks, the voice box. Check it. I spy, I spy that you see something you might like. In the stadium top, boss. In the meantime, up top, I'm represent for Curly Locks, the voice box. You understand? Stay in your own alien, yeah. She fed up, tip God. Fed up, she fed up. Sagittar. Good night, she na answer, she moody. She no cook, she na watch no movie. She no wash, she no clean from morning. She no hug me, no call me, no darling. Yeah, did I cry on your eyes, look teary. She said, no touch me, don't come near me. Some girl, will you make her come fear me? Attack me, attack me, you hear me? Me fed up, me fed up, me fed up. She said, me fed up, me die out of death. She said me fed up, me fed up, me fed up And me can't take no more problems and stress Then she said, your next girl pregnant, I'm a fine heart You break my heart, now me a ball, me a good dog then she stop dark The girl I mash up everything when I'm in yours I Mash up my car, my credit card Burn up my clothes She said, right no 
know me not think straight You know my brain is like a mixtape I know my wish me have a hand on I want to ask you your hand on I know you think so me no love you The lie detector said it's not true Just look at all the things we go through My drive for your shit but me crush you She fed up, she fed up, she fed up She said she fed up, she tired of me She said she fed up, she fed up, she fed up And she can't take no more problems and stress she said she fed up, she fed up, she fed up She said she fed up, she tired of this She said she fed up, she fed up, she fed up She can't take no more problems and stress She said she fed up, said she fed up And she's sick and tired of me She said she fed up Say she fed up and she Yes Say she fed up Indeed Yes Sagittar Yes Big up Clarindon again You, you know what I, I, whoa, whoa, I think whoa. you're right My whoa, brother whoa, whoa. Because I mean yeah, I, I've been I've been thinking about A lot of problems And I, I, yeah. I think you're right My brother but what? Because I, The ego and, and the immaturity That it inspires Yes. Seem to be at the root of, of, of every conflict that I can think yeah. of, my brother. And it's amazing how nothing seems to escape this reality, my brother. Nothing can escape it, Bridget. Nothing at all. I'm going to say something again. Mm -hmm. I believe, say, for too long, people are get credit where them don't deserve because they have a title. While we overlook the role where the title advertise. And I can't say enough. Oh, this idea where people separate from the process of what life really is, really is a big problem. So you think it's a major factor? Yeah, man, because factor. watch, I know. Mm -hmm. So it get deeper, because mm -hmm. I remember to each individual, you know, in a conflict, you know, whether the mother or the father, one or both of them, I tell themselves, say the other one is in service to them. Because of a thing when you egocentricity, everything surround me, me-ness, like when we call it Rasta. You devoted to me, you in service to me. You understand? That's how most people, most immature people look upon the world. And that is a big problem. And again, we have this idea, say everything is an idea. And this reality is very present in the case of the modern Kardashian woman in the way of the system groom them with this idealistic approach to everything. You think so? You really yeah, think man, so? Yeah, man. I said this thing a long time and I'm going to say mm -hmm. it again. Mm -hmm. Them want 10 things one time without realizing, say, if them all get some of these things where them have upon them lists of standards, some of the things are cancelled, some of the other things. Because, for example, now, you want a man who makes six figures and take care of you, but yet still you want a man who have to pay your mind. No, a man who makes six figures and have that time there and then you have start complaining say him now have no time and when it come to parenting it is even worse car watcher very often one or the two people were in the relationship we have this youth or get this youth you know it's not mature enough to angle the responsibility so them end up broke up very often in the case of most of these women them still have this idea so them can get all at once you believe that? <laughs> what you mean? because what you know mm -hmm. let us just say the baby father is a good baby father and thing when him and her live good youth him do mm -hmm. him for do and him pick the youth up at school and him the right there hands on as a baby father when the husband part of it malfunction now and them say them left and she carried the youth gone halfway across the fucking world and the consequence now of that move start show up all of a sudden this man had turned the worst baby father in the world but the thing is she now think oh you get rid of the husband and, and keep the baby father it's impossible enough things are going to change based on that choice there definitely yeah man because why now you have to know say it take a mature person to understand something now you, know, you need to understand every solution 
cause the next problem. Every solution is the next problem I wait for you. Because you decide now say you want left this person here for whatever reason. It come with a consequence. And you have some man that is no better when it comes to this idea separated from process. Because one know, especially some older man in the older years where you should just step on corner about, oh, how much you to get? And a man will say, you know what too, my God. A man say, ha, 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 no can I want this. I'm gilding, no can I gilding this. 19, my God. And he don't know none of them in the Rasta. He never give them a sweetie yet. They do that, my oh, brother. What do you mean? They do use that. boots, not even when he play ball. And he broke in a real life and got broke in a girl too. And when you born, everybody turn idiot. Because some of the time I went pick the barn, the mother realized that the man not work. And not bring in nothing and that can't work. What do you think causes that, my brother? Because they click, I agree. Like me say a while ago, they click, I agree, Rasta. Sad. Because them don't want to do the work where it take for look if something is dangerous. And I go fuck them up. Yeah, man. Them just come in at the girl and hope she no breed. And if she breed, them hope the pitney don't want a family or no pampas. And if the pitney want a family and pampas, them hope the pitney don't need to go to school. Yeah, man. We just, we, do, we just click, I agree. That's how we live with life. Click, I agree to every fucking thing. And I hope say it no go a certain way. Yeah, man. We don't read the contract. Because it's going to take too long, too much effort, too much work. They're running from the pressure. <laughs> yeah, man. See them like how we are put on the pitney them clothes for them and not teach them for do it because uh, it's going to take too much time because we're too fucking selfish and immature and most of we don't have the courage to grow up and know so them, them people are your friend you have to prepare them for a conflict a conversation a world where you're not going to always in here. but most of we don't think about that we just have an idea of the world and say so this is what life is, an idea. And we just develop beer assumptions of what everything and everyone is and then we get in a problem. And embarrass about these problems. And spend with life in a quiet shame instead of communicate the mistakes we make to we you. What you think so do? What you mean? You know, feel safe that mother day. When our daughter did a rebel, they tell our daughter, say, when she was for her age and nine man rape her. And that every time she'd ask for her father the reason why she couldn't get her answer. Or because of one of them man and she don't know how herself. It's hard for belief say in this day in age, you still have parents who don't communicate with them picnic rasta. You understand, especially when it comes to sex. Them still are dealing with it like, oh no, the youth are going to know say me to have sex and this awkward for talk to with me youth. You really feel say in this day and age, too lady, a youth a day over 16 and don't know say. A cocky reach you or a cocky your shub for bring them here. There is value in your experiences that shame the way you shame for not show the youth them certain things. Have been a lot of value. Sometimes it will motivate them instead of them just a go to school and I don't know why. But most of we keep them out locked through ego now. And just dead left beer and the captain of the world that take set from people. When none of them auntie and them uncle them don't want to see them. Because the truth is them in discipline and bad broke. Because the truth is them grow by themselves as much as them grow around you. Too much time they hide them give the pit in them a false sense of reality. And now uh, play on a role. When you just click, I agree. And I hope for the best. 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 In the meantime. My brother. Yeah. Um, mm. Earlier on you said damn. Um, what up? You were, you, you were referring to parents who um, actually help the children to put their clothes on yeah. in bid to arm. To, to, you're saying that they're impatient and yeah, it's not to help the child. It's really um, thinking about themselves. Not for them. Hold on, hold yeah, on, man. my brother. Yeah. But um, yeah. don't you think, just to be fair, my brother, yeah. that well, um, it, it is like you often speak about the frustrations that might come along with the sudden appearance of the details that they might have overlooked when they weren't thinking of this kind of pressure and no for example let's say they are poor and don't and, and, and are not financially ready for the burden and i'm not saying well, they should take it out on the children my brother but don't you think this stress could be a factor in in in, in the situation a, a, a situation similar to this my brother you hear me say man mm. the major underlying cause of every conflict every problem what's that spiritual immaturity you know make no sense we, we, we talk too much fucking hours well, about the symptoms i show them we are panda to people who want to hear somebody else's fault 
And them show they sell you back your own insecurity. Another type of show they this. Me tell you what you need for year. Indeed. But me tell you, Pastor, something mm-hmm. about immaturity. Mm-hmm. It's, it, it's not a money thing when it comes to that something. It isn't. You understand? Then what is it's it? It's an ego thing. It's a quest for be the most important at all costs. Even at the expense of the same picnic them with them claims to them love. All right, watch I all right, watch our example, you know. Mm-hmm. Same mm-hmm. basketball again, you know, watch I know. Right. Mm-hmm. What the brother name again, you know? Wait, wait, wait. I change out him son parts or something like that. I think it's mean, Dwayne Wade. Yes, Dwayne Wade. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Couple years ago, I years of the Virgin. Son, yeah, man. Zion. I, I, I don't even like think about my son in a chub right, bumbuck. Tragedy. Hey, I, all right. Watch out now. All right. Mm-hmm. Him 10, 11-year-old son decides mm-hmm. uh, he want to be a batty boy. Or him, or him is a woman stuck in a man body. And, well, what the fuck with them? Everybody are taught these days. And instead of the man be a parent in a practical sense and just make this youth and know say boy right now you're gonna go through a phase, you know. You understand? Right now you're gonna feel a way and then one day when you're sixteen you wake up and want your wood and care for anything. You know? So you have got to trust me as the parent to know more than you. Why are people malfunctioning this way though, my brother? I don't get it. Because they might live in our system. We take the basic fundamental discipline out of raising children. Right now, everyone just feel like them picking at them bridging and they them roommate and oh my God, and we're on the same level and equality and... No, I, I, that can't be real. I don't, I don't think that's happening. Oh, you mean? I'm sure you that's something I talk talking about, serious bridging. I want the ones that we are listening to this right now for Google that thing. I don't know. All right, put in this. Well, go up on YouTube and put in this. Type in, should parents ask their babies for consent? Before changing their nappies, it's six minutes, seven seconds long. I think it's like a CNN type of interview where some people are lobby for start ask children for change them diaper. Boy, we never, boy, the world are mad. Hey, want to find it? You know, forward in the comment section and, and tell me what you think. All right, do you know? Now? Instead of the brethren be a father to this little youth, you know, him decide him to run with this. Confuse with him little youth, confusion, you know, exploit that in a rasta. For him own gain. Yeah, man, for parent of the year, and oh wow, there goes an intelligent dude. He's so understanding. I wish every father could be like him, says the system. You really think that's what he did, my brother? What do you mean if I that him though? What kind of man would I care a 10 or 11 year old boy go and gay parade just for saying I support him sexual identity? But there's nothing wrong with supporting your all child. Alright, alright, cool. Then tell me something then. Mm-hmm. You'd have care your 10 or 11 year old daughter mm-hmm. go and male stripper club, go show her long cocky and swing all boat in her face just to help her affirm her sexual identity? Don't answer that. You're a big man, you're not doing weird. You can do what you want to, but in my opinion, not at the expense of the youth, manhood. Because watch, I know eventually the man and the wood gone. You try to turn him in a girl. You fight against objective nature, but me have news for you, you're not doing. No matter what you do to him or what you put on for him, he's a boy without him, would that. In the meantime. Yeah, man, if you know, say so this is Leela I can right and now you're listening to In the Meantime with Curly Locks, the voice box. Check it. I spy, I spy that you see something you might like. Hey, Babylon, no easy, none at all in a bridge, me, I tell you, boy. Them clever bad because enough people still do, say, say. At this system, yeah. Ensure say people don't grow up in a rasta and that include parents. Most people don't grow up. You think so? Yeah, man, at the spiritual immaturity. Sad. Right the rules will govern this entire global Sad. plantation, you know, this entire system, you know. And these rules pervert everything that is naturally natural. Immaturity. Yeah, man, the same immaturity. Remember, you know what is immaturity? When you have to have everything one time, the system you deal with excess. Them give a belief system will make you can't satisfy. Also, man will live by them law have a fuck every girl till them end up with a fuck every boy you think so yeah man them can't satisfy till them end up in a grave with condom cause them have a fuck every kind of hole ears hole nose hole yeah you hole dog rat puss everything one time you see that egocentric energy there we power the system brethren it counteract every moral virtue we connect to objective reality you think so oh you mean how you say all right nature say ganja the system say cigarette aka cancer Nature say get picnic, mm-hmm. the system say fuck picnic. In a them all. 
know, one time we used to go to nature with the sickness for herbal remedies. And the system just said pharmaceuticals and get to hook to the same sickness where it claims it to try to help you cure. A sad reality. Uh, so sad. Yeah, man, the system take everything naturally natural and turn it back way. They did? <laughs> yeah, man, because you know, see, man a ton woman, a woman a ton man. In the sense where the role them are reverse. And then in a literal sense, where man a cut off them hood and vice versa. Consider the system like the average immature person because of the same egocentric, spiritually immature mind. Right, the rule there. Right, the rule them will make that system there. Now think of somebody spiritually immature where you know, because I will always know somebody who is spiritually immature. Just look if the main characteristic about that immature person. Now the fact say, once you disagree with them, you're not with them. Yeah, man, once you agree with them, you're against them, and so the mindset. Now look if the system not have that same exact mind. How so? Oh, you mean, they don't see them where you say you see them act all innocent and, oh, they are so fear and, oh, everybody have freedom of speech and we believe everyone has a voice. But everyone does have a voice, my brother. <laughs> yeah, man, but all right, cool. But make a man go say, hey, you, man, put that wood back in your pants, man. I'm do, I don't do that bad thing. Yeah, I'm a straight guy. But you can do what you want to do. I'm not against you living your life, but I'm not into that thing. I ain't gonna make mistake and say, him no want him youth to learn certain things where them are pushing at the school, them and them thing there. I him saying he's a Christian and him not bake no cake for no body wedding. They mash him up, his whole career gone, mash up, done. So where the democracy they in at that? Them don't know justice, just them. And that alone them know. Only perversion of a vice and a western rule. Anything outside a perversion, stifle. When you live objectively upright and true, you go under attack. Western democracy is a myth. Sacrificing to objective reality through discipline are the only thing we bring freedom. And as for you, Mr. Dwayne Wade, me wish my Zion could and just visit you from the other side and box down your bum buckler at your phone for at all one whole entire week. Can you mash up one of Zion them, Bridget, not the bum buckler out there? Alright, for the people who don't like the truth, I want to me to tell you, know, consider on your life before that program here like a long, dark, desolate night. And within the meantime, Money no. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Hey. In the meantime, 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 in between time. Time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time. Time.